everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we're Unfading Beauty Co. and we are so excited to have you here. Make sure if you've never visited before, hit the subscribe button just down below so you can see all the stuff that we post and everything that's going on. We're only just starting, but it's super excited to share all the great things that we've learned along the way, that I've learned along the way with you guys. So um, for today, we are going to be um, I'm going to be showing you how to organize all of your stud earrings because, oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but one of the hardest things to figure out when you are setting out your dressing room, because that's where we are at the moment, we're in my dressing room, is just to figure out how to really lay out all those earrings so they don't get all tangled because how often have we got those jewelry boxes and little containers where they all got mangled and you get these beautiful earrings and they're all over the place. So just here, doo -doo 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 -doo, um, I'm going to be showing you the steps on how to make it. It is super, super, super easy. And you don't even need to put a hole in the wall. It's super interchangeable as well. And I'll pop some information of the board in the description so you can have a look. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, aside from your big, massive pile of earrings, which I have and you guys have already seen, um, is you're going to need the board that we're going to use to stick everything on. So um, this one here is from Kmart. Um, but basically, you just need, you can even go to an office supply store or something like that. Um, Target might even have something. But you pretty much just need a pin board. That's all it is. Um, you can use a cork board if you want, but this one's got, uh, I think it's polystyrene at the back. I've had a way of it already, so it's only 456 grams. It is not heavy at all. So whatever you end up using to pop it on the wall is going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to break it. It won't damage the paint or anything like that. So this one here, and it depends on how many earrings you've got. If you've got a lot of stud earrings, you might want to get a couple of these. You might want to get a bigger one. We'll just move it back. So this one here, it's probably about 45 by 45 centimeters, something around those lines. Um, but anyway, you can see it's not massively huge and it's just the right size because obviously I've got my other types of earrings, but this is perfectly for my studs. So we've got that. The next thing you're going to need is these command 3m uh they're pretty much like velcro tabs actually so i'll just open up a packet for you these are amazing and actually the reason i told you the weight is because depending on what you end up buying if you have one with a wooden frame obviously it's going to weigh a lot more so you need to really make sure that you can at least guess how much it's going to weigh once it's on the wall because as you can see here there we go. Doo, doo, doo. Um, you've got 1.8 kilos if you use a certain amount or 5.4. This here is a mixed pack. So again, you can see that. Now, some of them you, I mean, it says that you need four on the back. So like one, two, three, four. But if it's really not going to weigh a lot, save them, use them for something else. As I said, this is only 456 grams. And I can go up to like 1.8 kilos. So it's not going to be needing all four of those strips. You can save some money and use it for another thing. So anyway, there's lots of instructions on the back. Super easy to use, guys. Perfect to do an ISO. So essentially what you do, this is how they come. And I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. You can see kind of there's a bit of that's better. So you can definitely see they're velcroed. So all you got to do, they're perforated. You just divide them. So there's the two. I don't like we don't need them at the moment. I'll just show you with the one. And then literally all you do is you grab them and you very carefully. I'll see if you can hear that. Ready? Yeah, there you go. Just run your finger along it. Make sure that you've got all that velcro stuck together. And there you go. There's two together and that is going to keep it on the wall for you. So let's do the other one. Okay. All right. And that's what we're going to need. So aside from your actual earrings, like literally 
I'm just caught on my bench. Uh, you're just going to need this cork board, whatever, polystyrene, up to you. Check the weight of it first or at least be able to approximate. And then I've just got two of these. If you really, really think that you're going to need something a bit, um, like if it's heavier, then do four of these. And then so what we're going to do on the back, see how the width is quite perfect for these. So they're going to stick on. You can actually, you can get ones which are about half the thickness and or half the width of this. So if you end up getting something which is super narrow, that's fine as well. They make those. The other thing is um, at your local hardware store or even at Kmart or Target or something like that, um, they've got hooks too. So if you get one which has got a really cute like chain or something at the top, grab a hook. It works exactly the same. The packets look exactly the same. I'd probably recommend using this brand exactly. So I know a lot of people who have used a different brand, like they've gone for the cheaper, more generic version of your 3M command hooks and, and like hanging things. Um, I know that they've kind of ruined the walls a little bit sometimes if you don't take them off properly. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, so just keep your eye out for that. But you really just want to make sure that you, you do it properly, use a good brand because then like we're renting at the moment. So obviously we don't want to have to repaint all of our walls once we're out and stuff like that. So if you get the right ones, you won't have any mess to fix up. All right. Well, um, I'm going to show you how to pop them on, make it all neat, merch it up, and then we'll pop it on the wall. All right, guys. So here's my board and we're all good to go. I've got all my stud earrings. As you can see, some of them are sorted, some of them aren't. It's a little bit of a mess, so let's all get that sorted out now. And with the backings, I've actually just got them here in a little egg cup container because realistically, when you're buying these earrings, um, it's really not much of a difference between the backings. Just try them. You'll get it right the first time, and if you don't, you'll get it right the second or third time. So um, it's super compact, it's tiny, you can pop it in any container. And um, let's get sorted. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've sorted all my earrings out. They're all in the place that I want to pop them in. I've got some older ones, like some more vintage ones that have been passed down, and some newer ones. You know, you find a bargain here and there. And the best thing about this is totally interchangeable. When you're doing it, just have a think about the, like, the general shape of your earrings and also the colour, because at the end of the day, it's kind of going to be a practical piece of artwork for you so you want to just make sure that it's all nice and neat and it works really well with all the colors and it's not like neutral completely on one side silver on another side and then this big block of color so having it nice and spaced out is awesome and it works really well so i'm going to go and punch these all in and then we'll pop it on the wall and you can see the final product okay so one thing i forgot to mention is that when you guys are popping all your earrings and studs into your actual board itself whether it's polystyrene or cork just do it super slowly and super gently um, the last thing you want to do is actually bend the special like uh wire metal the metal not wire Oh my gosh that would be so feral anyway the metal make sure that you don't bend that because obviously your earrings will get ruined so just make sure that when you're doing it go super slowly and guide it in and just make sure you're doing it just like if you were hammering a nail completely vertical so make sure it's completely vertical and you're putting equal amounts of pressure down and then that way the hole will be created and your earrings won't get ruined okay guys here we have finished product so I've got all my jewelry hanging up. It looks very cute, it's swooshable. I've got all my short studs here, the non-dangly ones. I've got my mediums, I've got my more stringy ones, the bigger bulky ones, and a few extra ones just down here. I've got some color blocking happening, like just some spacing it out and like blocking in certain areas of like neutral and colors and everything, but you can just have a play around with it. So the next thing to do is, what we're going to do, as you can see, so I've got these down here on this side and this side. So about, you know, a third of the way down. Um, the instructions actually say it on the back. 
So have a look at the back of your packet, it shows you where to place them. And then even so you can see, it doesn't matter. Have a look at the front. Remember we had a look at that. The front and the back are exactly the same. So you literally just peel off. It's like a sticker. See, just like that. So you just peel it off. There you go. Just peel off both of those ends and then you are good to go to position it. When you're positioning it on the wall, just make sure that when you're holding it, you look at it, make sure you're at arm's distance so you know if it's straight, you don't want it to be wonky. And you'll be able to actually tell because the fact that you've got earrings here which move, um, you'll be able to see which way is straight and which is a bit crooked because you will literally, see, they'll do this or they'll do that. So it's a bit of a handy trick for you. So let's go do that now and we'll see the end product. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial on how to organize your earrings so they don't get all clumpy and ruined. As you can see in the background, there it is in our dressing room, ready to go for anything. The awesome thing about it is as well is if you've got an outfit, you're not sure which earrings to wear, you can just interchange them super quickly or if you're in a rush. So I hope you guys are well, stay safe, stay home, um, make sure you do the right thing during this really crazy time that we're all having. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel just down there and have an awesome day. We'll see you soon. Bye.